because this is Wondershare Filmora logo, but I created it. So the recreation of Wondershare Filmora logo is back, and this is episode 2, where we are focusing on recreating only the animation. Hello my dear friends, Alex here from Alex AD. So if you didn't watch the previous episodes, this can be confusing to you. But I would advise you to go and check it out either from this link right here or else in the description below. So what I did in that video, I recreated the official Wondershare Filmora logo. And because I didn't want to load my viewers with a lot of things, I had to separate these two things, the creation of the logo and the animation of the logo. Alright my dear friends, so your very first step right here is very simple. You just have to drag down the logo that we created in the previous episode episode. Alright my dear friends, so right here we go to the transform tab and this is where all the magic is going to happen. On the very first frame of that logo, reduce the scale to 10 and make sure it is on the center of the frame. You can assure that by activating the safe zones and also being helped by the snapping. Alright so now you add the first keyframe and now after that you have to count 10 frames and then increase the scale to 15. By the way, this is very important. If you would like to follow me along, make sure you set your project to 30 FPS. As you can see right here, I'm editing this project in 720 at 30 FPS. You can count 6 more frames and increase the scale to 16. And now in the next 5 frames, you'll be animating to the left side. So I just have to show you my number values right here on the screen. And again, you count 4 more frames forward. And here are the number values for this frame. And now you go for a little longer, which is 14 frames. And this is just a slight zoom. Alright my dear friends, so after doing that, the next thing right here is to go to the keyframing panel. Otherwise, the animation is nowhere near Wondershare Fumora logo animation. So just as normal, so right here on the first keyframe, you just have to ease in. On the next keyframe, you ease out. Just like that, the next keyframes is in and the next one is out until you reach the last keyframes. Alright so now we say we are done the first part of animation, we remain with the second part which is the titles and that is the Wondershare Filmora part. Alright my dear friends so before we go on to animate our titles, here is just a little message from the sponsors of today's episode. This is all about Filmora education, if you feel like you want to deep dive into Filmora, look no further because the Filmora teachers community is ready for you. The very first option that we are going to present to you is the Filmora Creator Hub and this is the one platform where you find all the tutorials that you want. You just have to search a topic or else you can search your favorite creator. Maybe you like Jake or maybe you like Sally tutorials or myself and many more. The second option we present unto you is the Filmora Masterclass course which is completely free of charge and this is currently being taught by three Filmora Masters and I can be the fourth one to give you the best editing knowledge possible. So I'm going to leave all the links down in the description below. Go ahead and possess the knowledge you deserve. Now back to our tutorial. Alright my dear friends, so now the very first step right here is very simple and as normal as just add a quick text. And right here obviously, you have to add two titles and the first one must be Wondershare and the second one must be Filmora. And now this is kind of difficult but my friend because I don't have this font of Wondershare Filmora and I don't know what am I going to do. But fortunately my dear friend there is another font which is very close to this font and that is called Teoma. Teoma. Te 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 Teoma. So there are two times and the other one is kind of bold and the other one is lighter. So I can put the lighter one on Wondershare and then on Filmora I put the bolder one and then also you can add board from here. So make sure the Wondershare phone must be the size 40. And then the Fimora must be 56. Alright my dear friends, so after that you can hit apply and go back to the main screen. Now my dear friends, we only have a few simple steps before we complete this project. Right here you have to go to the 5th frame and then add a transform keyframe to your title. And then you bring back your play here into the third keyframe and then change the position keyframe to minus 51. And that means the title is going to animate to the right side. And now to the last keyframe, you just have to slightly increase the scale and make it 103. So you also have to increase the X position to 15. After that, my dear friend, you have to go again to the keyframing panel and do the same thing that we did with the first part of the logo. This one I will ease in, this one I will ease out. This one again I will ease in. 
and this one the last one i will ease out all right my dear friends so one more step go to the transition and drag down the dissolve and just make it like two or three frames all right let us render and check out the final preview right now this is how simple it is my dear friend to recreate this wondershare filmora logo animation in wondershare filmora if you like the content my dear friend please do subscribe to support this channel and you can check out the channel for more useful tutorials like this tutorial right here only a dream